Perhaps more than any president before him. The torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. John Kennedy connected with younger Americans, which is why his presidential library is now putting everything possible online. Hundreds of thousands of photographs, documents, even the president's doodling. We will be able to give today's generation access to the historical record and challenge them to answer my father's call to service. So anyone researching Kennedy's most famous call to service Ask not. can learn that Ask Not What Your Country Can Do For You was handwritten in barely legible scrawl. His challenge to go to the moon was neatly typed and underlined. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Kennedy's Camelot moments are all there in photographs, and there's film of an upbeat president joking that he won't put his library in Washington. Yes, I'm going to put it in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> but the deadly serious Cuban Missile Crisis is captured moment to moment in dozens of online recordings. As the U.S. and Soviets threaten nuclear war over Russian missiles in Cuba, JFK asked former President Dwight Eisenhower how far he should go. Uh, what's your judgment as to uh, the chances they'll fire these things off if we invade Cuba? Oh, uh, I don't believe they will. Yeah, they will. It's the kind of material historians used to spend months tracking down, all now available with a click. You're going to have a lot more people looking and, and thinking and probing into our presidential past. You won't find everything about Kennedy's past. The Marilyn birthday video isn't there. But struggling students might be inspired by Kennedy's report cards. It seems the man who hand wrote that soaring rhetoric as president had improved over the C he got in English as a sophomore at Harvard. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.